Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tanelia and this is Uyong Beauty. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm filming outside on my patio. I'm going to be filming a video as soon as I'm done doing my, my makeup here where I'm going to be reading the story Mulan for a special online children's event. I am part of a volunteer costuming group. We volunteer for children's events, children's hospitals, things like that. But of course, things being what they are now, we have been able to do any events in person. So we have this really special virtual event that we're doing. And for my part, I am going to be in costume reading the story Mulan. As I said, I'm already in costume. I figured it'd be easier just to go in ahead and do my makeup out here so then I can immediately shoot the video so I can get it uploaded. But that's what we're going to be doing today, so let's go ahead and get started. Mushu is sitting back here in the tree watching me. You guys know Mushu is always looking after me. I've already done my primer and brows. I'm using this Believe Beauty primer. I absolutely love this one. This one gives you a nice matte finish to the skin. It's very long wearing, of course. I'm only doing my, my makeup today for this video, so I don't really need it to last long. But this is a very, very nice primer. And for my brows, I just use this LA Colors. Uh, eyeliner and brow pencil. This one is in black brown. I really like how this one looks. It's a very natural color on me. Foundation I'm going to be using is the Screen Queen one from Milani. I absolutely love this formula. It says it has a blue light filter. Blue lights apparently come off if you're like on your laptop a lot. They basically come off screens. Laptops, phones, tablets, stuff like that. So what this is supposed to do is filter all that out. I don't know if it actually filters the blue light out or not. All I know is that it looks really really good on my skin it's a darn near like perfect match it blends in so perfectly and just evens out my skin i usually put the foundation like in the back of my hand but i don't want to mess up risk messing up my dress so i'm just going to put a few drops on my face and then blend everything out that way i apologize if the lighting goes out or anything but this is the first time I've actually filmed in all natural lighting, so no ring light or anything. I filmed in front of a window or, you know, near a window with natural light. This is the first time I've actually filmed in all natural light. So this is also testing to see what I think about it. If you guys like it, I can film, you know, in more spaces like this. But right now, this is just a test, just to kind of see how it goes. I'm going to take just a little bit of my Becca concealer, or my Becca under eye corrector, just to kind of correct some of the darkness and some of the shadows. Then I'm going to use my Dewey's Place concealer. I'm also going to use that as my eyeshadow primer. One thing about doing Mulan is that Mulan, when she's in just her, you know, everyday casual village outfit, obviously, you know, this is a very natural look. We're not going for anything super heavy and glamorous or anything like that. So how are you guys doing out there? Have any of your kids started school? Are they doing, if you do have kids, you know, have they started school? Are they doing the virtual route? Are your kids in school? My kids start a week from tomorrow. Today is Sunday when I'm filming this. They start on uh, 31st, which is a week from tomorrow. This is the first time that we've ever done like all virtual learning. So yeah, we're, we're nervous about it. I think we're pretty much set up to where we need to be for it. And I know that my kids will adapt pretty quickly. It's just a little frustrating that, you know, we even have to do it this way. I mean, when I, when I think about where we were, you know, six months ago to where we are now, you know, it, it just, it's amazing. Things have changed so much. I'm hoping that the virtual thing will only be, you know, through maybe Christmas, right until Christmas break, and then maybe they can go back in school, but who knows? I'm going to use my Believe Beauty setting spray. I mean, setting spray. Setting powder to set everything down. This one has a very, very nice matte finish, so I thought it would be, you know, perfect for doing this. This powder does a really good job of mattifying your pores if you have, you know, oilier skin. It actually blurs really, 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 really well too. I don't know if you can tell in this lighting, but it makes the skin look really, really smooth and natural. You know, I have scarring from acne, you know, and this kind of helps to blur those areas so your eyes don't immediately go to those areas, which I like. I'm going to take just a little bit of my Beauty's Place concealer and go on ahead and find my eyelids. Like I said, we're doing a very, very neutral, natural kind of a look here, so it should go pretty quickly. The palette I'm going to be using today is the Crown Palette. This is the 
Crown Pro. This actually came in my very, very first BoxyCharm box. And I really, really do like it. It's like these really pretty, natural, nudie kind of peachy tones up in here. You kind of have mattes, you have some satin mattes, you have some shimmers or metallics in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my entire eyelid first with this one. There are no shade names in this one, so I'm going with kind of this taupey tan shade. We're going to put that all over the eyelid first. Let's lay that down as my transition just to kind of help set down the primer, the concealer that I used to put on my eyelids as well. This is a very, very nice formula. I've never used anything from Crown before getting this uh, palette in my box for the first time that I've ever used. The shadows are very smooth. They blend very, very well. Now I'm going to go into this one. This is actually, you know what? I think I'm going to this one first. It's just a little bit deeper than this shade, just to kind of deepen up the crease. And then we will go into this more peachy tone. I'm using that same crease brush. And like I said, we're just deepening up that area just a little bit, just to add a little more depth, especially since we're going to be in natural lighting on camera. Kind of want everything to show up a little more because when I actually do the story, I may be pulled out further. So I just kind of want to make sure everything stands out, you know, in the actual video itself. I have to say, I'm kind of liking filming in this natural light. What do you guys think? Are you guys feeling it? I'm kind of feeling it. The only thing is that you have to kind of move my because I'm downstairs. I, I film my bedroom's upstairs, so I film upstairs and I have to carry the ring light downstairs onto the patio to set it up. Well. I'm not using a ring light right now, but the ring light that I'm, is my phone sits inside of it, this is what I'm using as my tripod. I don't have like a separate tripod for my phone. So even though the ring light is not on, I'm still using it because it's it works as a tripod. So now I'm going to take this kind of a peachy orange shade and I'm going to lay that on the eyelid and then I'm going to take, I think, this one right here and put that on the, on, on the outer corner to deepen it and then our eyelid will be complete. This is the first time in months that I have actually gotten into costume because I will admit I have been just feeling very down and you know a little bit of depression here and there about you know everything that's going on and I just didn't feel like it was worth getting into costume. If you watched my Get Ready With Me, I think it's the last one I did, the Pichu one. I've also mentioned it before but you know my family we get into costume, we travel to different comic conventions. I mean Usually that's what we'd be doing right now. We would have like finished up our last con and uh, the one that we would travel to in July, and then we'd be getting ready for school. If this was just like normal circumstances, the children, the kids would already been in school. August 10th was originally supposed to be the day they were supposed to start, but when they, when the school district decided to go ahead and do virtual, they pushed the date back a little bit. So yeah, you know, everything is it's different now. And like I said, this is the first time in months that I've actually put on a costume to do anything. It just didn't feel, you know, just, I didn't feel like it was worth doing. It was just, it's, it's been, it's been hard. We had a superhero event that we were also doing and I actually missed that one. I, t I totally forgot when the actual dates for that event were going to be. So I didn't get my video filmed in time to go. And I'm hoping that this one, cause today is Sunday, the event starts tomorrow, Monday. So I'm really, really hoping that I get this video in in time for the event because the, the whole thing goes for a whole week. Usually, whenever we do them in person, you know, it's a one-day event. We're there for like three or four hours, and it's just a one-day thing. But since it's virtual, it's being spread over like the entire week. I'm liking how this eye look is coming in too. It's a little bit deeper than what I would normally do for Milan, but as I said, you know, for this particular character. But as I said, you know, since I'm filming outside in more natural light, I kind of want it to be a little more. Old. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to do an inner corner or anything like that. I, I think this is good. So it's going to throw in a little bit, just a little thin layer of eyeliner and a little bit of mascara, and then we'll move on to the face. I'm going to take my Artista ink pen. This is from Shot in the Say AOA. We're not going to do like a huge wing or anything like that. I just want to kind of define the lash line just a little bit before I put on mascara. So this should go very, very quick. Give my lash just a quick little curl here. I hope I'm not covering up my face too much. 
usually I have my little stand-up mirror that's sitting on the table in front of me that I use so that my face isn't covered at all. But I didn't want to bring my table and all that downstairs, so I just have like a little basket sitting next to me with my makeup in it. Oh, it would just been too much work to try to bring my table down here and to bring my mirror and all that stuff. Just didn't want to bother with that. I'm using my Essence False Lashes Mascara. I absolutely love this formula. It gives you nice, long, thick, full lashes. This actually works better for me than some of the more expensive high-end uh, mascaras that I had used. And this one is only like, I think it was $4.99 or something. It was less than $5. It was very, very expensive. All of the Essence mascara formulas are really, really good. I brought my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills blush out here that I was originally going to use, but I think I want to go ahead and do something in this instead since I have more of a peach here look. This is the BH Cosmetics Orange Truffle for floor for blush quad. This is the orangey tones. I don't know if you can see it very well out here, but that's kind of what it looks like. I think I'm going to go with this one and put that one all over my cheek. Something just a little peachy. Like I said, we're doing a, a natural, natural look here. So we're not, we don't need anything like super, super bold. That is a really, really pretty tone. I didn't have like any orange tone blushes in my collection, which is the reason why I picked this one up. It's just so pretty and it smells like orange chocolate. So nice. For lips, I'm going to be using this ColourPop lip pencil. This is in Bumble. That's what I'm going to line my lips with. And then I'm going to use this uh, Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Idol. This one is, it says Status Prestige number 240. This is kind of new to my collection. I've had the lip pencil for a while now. But if you guys have been following me, like I said, if you did watch that, you ready with me. I'll put that, I'll drop a, a card in there too about that one. But, you know, I'm also a substitute teacher. I got an email from the agency that I substitute teach through, and it had, like, some questions about the year. Like, it was asking, you know, are you going to sub this year? And that's a standard question. They ask that every year. But it said, are you set up for virtual learning? Do you have a computer, internet, all that stuff? And I put, and I put yes for both. But, you know, I'm also very curious because I don't know what that means. I sent a message back and asked them, like, what does the virtual learning look like for us as subs? I haven't gotten a response, so I don't even think they know yet. I'm, you know, but I'm sure it's something that you they have to think about, you know, the schools have to think about because eventually the teachers are going to have to go on vacations, they're going to have to adopt appointments, they're going to have to, like, take off. So who's going to take over the virtual class when they're not there? I'm sure that's something that they're, you know, trying to figure out. And I don't know what that means for us as substitute teachers. I mean, it'd be awesome if I could sub virtually, you know, so I can be home with the kids with their virtual learning. But like I said, I, I don't know how that's going to work. I have no clue at this point right now. But I do have my lift driving. So I've been doing that to earn some income. I'm hoping that I can sub this year, but we'll just have to see how it goes. I'm going to give my face a quick little spritz with my Urban Decay All Nighter. It's starting to get a little bit warm out here. It's probably about 1130 and I'm filming this. It's starting to get a little bit warm, so... I'm going to go ahead and finish this off so I can go ahead and get this filmed and get out of this costume because I am starting to sweat. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little get ready with me. If you enjoyed, you know, this kind of a format and me doing things like this, my intention was to do get ready with me whenever I was getting ready for, you know, certain cons and stuff like that. And of course, being, you know, things being what they were. You know, those plans change, but as we get more and more into doing events virtually or otherwise, you know, I do, I would like to do more get ready with me like this, but just let me know, drop a comment down below and just tell me what you think about it. My nails are blue. I had tended to take this off for this video, but I just didn't have time. So today Mulan's going to have blue nails. At the end of the video, I'll go ahead and I'll drop in some pictures of the costume full from head to toe if you guys would like to see that, just so you can see what everything looks like. But be safe, guys. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.